The Carefree Brute, The Blaster Master, Netflix and Kill. The best position to get acquainted with the game from, and the most laid back out of everyone on the ship. Welcome to the Weapon Specialist Tutorial, where we'll be learning about how to operate the main turret in combat, managing crew weapons, scouting ahead on planets during away missions, and the Weapon System tab. In the tab menu, under Talents, you will find a list. Any talents that are red, you're going to want to prioritize. These are your unique Weapon Specialist talents. Keep in mind that you're the muscle on away missions when you're allocating your talents. Carry capacity is important as well as your armor and damage. Ultimately, how you spend your talents is up to you. If you're finding that you don't have anything good to buy, there's no harm in saving some points and asking your scientist to research a talent for you if they can. During space combat, it's your time to shine. Most of your time will be spent blasting your enemies out of existence on the main turret, so it's crucial that you understand how to properly utilize it. When the captain says you're entering combat, the first thing you want to do is identify the current target. On the top right, you'll see a list of ships within detection range. You want to always shoot the one that is highlighted in red. The captain has the ability to change the priority target and will do so based on his judgment. Communicating details about your target, for example if they have good shields, are using mostly missiles, or are quick and difficult to hit, is important to convey to the captain during this time. The steps to using the turret efficiently are easy to master and will save your engineer a lot of excess heat buildup. When manning the turret, you'll see two bars to the right and left of the reticule. The left one is the turret's charge, if full, the turret is ready to be fired. Line up your shot and hold down the fire button. You will see two red circles appear, one big and shrinking and one small and growing. The trick is to release the shot when both circles are aligned while keeping the turret aimed at the target. Doing this correctly will reduce turret heat buildup and allow you to fire more often. The second bar to the right of the reticule is the heat buildup. Every time you fire the turret, this will rise. If it fills, the turret will overheat and you'll have to wait to be able to fire again. Time your shots so that you don't overheat the turret and waste time and coolant. Your engineer will appreciate it. You can quickly tap the alternate fire button as well to shoot a small secondary laser. While not good for damaging enemy ships, this secondary laser is efficient at shooting down incoming enemy missiles, should the need arise. The main turret also has an alternate firing button that will begin a missile lock on the captain's current target. You should already have your shots lined up because of the turret, but remember that missiles are slower and can be avoided. Try to aim where they're going instead of where they currently are, unless you're using tracker missiles. You can see your current missile type, ammo count, and which system on the enemy ship the missiles are targeting from your turret screen. You can also cycle through the missile type and which system you're targeting with the number keys. Finally, we come to the emergency tactical nuke. Do not fire without the captain's authorization. The captain will tell you to load the nuke, prime the nuke, and fire the nuke, respectively. Wasting the nukes can result in time in the brig and no Silvassi brew for you at the end of the mission. Keep an eye out for the intruder alert. They usually board near the end of a fight, so trust the pilot and engineer to keep the ship out of danger while you go and deal with the more immediate threat inside the ship. They also have a habit of going after engineering first, who is usually the most vulnerable on the ship, so be familiar with the path from the teleporter to the reactor. Once all hostiles are eliminated, or if the captain orders for emergency jump prep, your job is done and you can sit back Crack a beer and relax with the boys. Firing the turret during jump prep is not recommended as it will put the pilot off alignment and add additional heat to the engine, which is already heating up for jump prep. You should now know how to operate the main turret in combat. Congratulations! Outside of combat, you may be compelled to use the item upgrader. This is not for you to use. The captain and engineer are in charge of scrap spending. This doesn't mean you can't ask for an item upgrade, however. Instead, you have access to the upgrader as a side effect of being one of the crew that helps to process scrap, which the item upgrader talent also gives you access to. 
It's up to you to help the engineer process scrap after the pilot and scientists collect it. Simply hold the processing button you're prompted with on screen until the white bar lines up with the green line and release. If you did it correctly, you'll have processed the scrap. If not, then you'll get one strike out of three and you'll have to try again. Three strikes and you can no longer attempt to process scrap until you jump to another sector, at which point you'll gain another three chances. For the most part, finding pistols will be commonplace and most of these guns will be plus one or plus two. Only consider asking to use the item upgrader for your forever weapon. Request to keep all excess ammo and weapons in your locker and keep track of the weapons everyone is currently using and send them better ones than what they have when you acquire them. To reiterate, pistols are commonplace to find laying around on away missions. Exotic weapons like rifles and launchers, not so much. Finally, remember to carry extra ammo with you on away missions and send it to your crew members when they need it. You should now know how to manage crew weapons and process scrap. Congratulations! On an away mission, you should always be the first to beam down. Ask your scientists about the climate and then grab an exosuit as needed. A good captain should equip his crew with scanners, but you are the second most important person to have one on an away mission. Ask your scientist to research scanner mode item pickups. This will greatly increase your productivity on site. Once the research is done, spend a talent point to allow items to appear on your radar as yellow. Scout ahead for red dots, which are enemies, identify them for the crew, and eliminate them. Loot as much as you can. Keep the guns to distribute to the crew, send artifacts and quest items to the captain, research materials to the scientist, and repair tools to the engineer. The last piece of advice is always stay vigilant planet side. You never know when an ambush is just around the corner and over relying on the scanner is for nerds. You should now know how to scout ahead on away missions. Congratulations! In the tab menu, under the ship tab, you'll see a category marked miscellaneous and one marked weapons. Keep an eye on the miscellaneous tab after your crew acquires scrap. If they pick up something that goes in the weapons tab that is better than what you currently have, kindly inform your captain when they're not too busy that there's a possible upgrade to weapons and cargo. At trading posts, skim the weapon systems they have available and make recommendations to your captain if there are any upgrades. If you find that your weapons are lacking, request to have them upgraded by engineering when you get to a trading post. It will take time to become acquainted with the various systems in the weapons tab, understand what to upgrade and when they're necessary. Knowing your corresponding system is the difference between an expert weapon specialist and a master weapon specialist. And you should now have a basic understanding of the weapons system tab. Congratulations! The weapon specialist is in charge of damage output and enemy removal. You shoot your guns, you make sure your crew has good guns, you scout ahead, and you remove threats using your guns. Thank you for attending this seminar on Weapon Specialist Class Basics, and go forth with confidence into that final frontier. If anyone tries to kill you, you kill them right back. <laughs>